Hello my lovelies and welcome, welcome, welcome to today's video. My name's Ali and I'm really glad that you popped in. I am so excited about today's video because it's going to be the last one going up for the year 5780. So we have the Jewish New Year coming up this Friday night and I'm really, really, really excited because I'm just ready for a new year, a new beginning, a new blessings, new luck, new joy and in order to celebrate all that i thought what a better inspiration for a tichel other than a wonderful new year's fun look now the tradition for the new year is usually to wear something new to eat a new fruit to celebrate everything that is round and sweet um, and new <laughs> so that that is what we attract to ourselves um, it's important to celebrate rosh hashanah which literally translates to the head rosh his head ha the Shana year so head of the year um, in a big way because you're attracting all the energies that are going to come and greet you in the new year I'm ready for new I'm ready for freedom I'm ready for just friendships and socializing and health and less stress and less stress from others you know stress by proxy um, you know and I'm hoping that I'm still doing my bit to try and reduce the stress for others, but also I'm hoping just experience that others are having less less stress too. So that is my wish for 5781. <laughs> so I've got a beautiful white or cream um, scarf because this is one of my favorite, favorite ones that I own. It's so festive and lovely. And we just entered the springtime here in Australia and that has been really wonderful, inspirational. I'm not sure if you saw the post that went up today all about spring and honey and bees and nature and all the wonders. Um, so a nice white bright scarf to kind of also talk about new beginnings and new luck and sort of things like that. And this other one, is my beautiful butterfly scarf same sort of idea first of all it suits the cream scarf really nicely because it's got these white sections but also because you know spring and new and festive and things like that I've used this a couple of times on the channel and I don't know I think it's so pretty and at the moment it just happens to be that today I'm wearing a black top I've got a beautiful kind of cream gray um, bottom but I'm wearing all black on top so just something to brighten up the situation too all right, so the first thing I'm going to do is I've got this down, just any old towel. <laughs> just going to make sure that it's kind of even. Okay, so I've put it to the back. And what I want to do is just, as I bring it forward, I'm going to flip it under a bit. So that the shiny bit here is at the front. And then we just tie it at the back. Okay, make sure that... All the bits are sitting how we want because it's going to be harder to fix later. I've just got, as you can tell, a high bun underneath. I've got two scrunchies, velvet scrunchies holding it up. So it gives me a little bit of volume um, just from that. So next I've got my beautiful butterflies. And I'm going to use the, the folded edge again because it's just nicer. But I'm going to sit it right in front of my bun because that's where this strip ends so i really want that strip to be shown and then i'm just going to gather it because it's really big so i just kind of gathered it like a ponytail there and there and i'm just going to tie it off so just be careful when you're tying off a lot of fabric because you don't want it to bunch in the wrong way so make sure you hold it nice and tight be in control the whole time so i have not let go of this part the whole time i've been pulling this part through and then just tie it down so that one knot is sitting right over the other. Okay, this one will never be too tight because it's got a fabric in the way. So as long as it's sitting kind of securely, you don't need to worry about it pressing on your head or anything like that. And the other thing I sometimes do when I'm kind of putting a fabric in an insecure, if you like, or not secure place, is I will introduce some pins. Some yellow pins here. You won't even see them and I might even take them out, but I'm just going to... Actually, I'm going to swap it for a green one because it happens to fall in a green bit of the tickle. Just like that, just straight in, just to hold it in place. And a white one on the other side. Just so that it doesn't budge while I'm doing all the rest of it. Bit of a security blanket. So what I'm going to do with um, this one is I'm actually going to twist it. The idea being... Uh, First of all, it's really pretty and royal and all this thing, but also because you do take a little bit of the old experiences into the new um, year. 
And so the idea is that we use them to empower us and not hold us back. So a bit of a positive twist. Oops. I'm going to take this under and try and tuck it into the yellow scarf. It's almost tempting to kind of leave it with this beautiful tail hanging down, but we won't, we won't make it so simple. So the next thing I want to do is take, um, don't worry about the things that are hanging out, we can fix them at the end. So I'm going to take this white one, I'm just going to give it a bit of a twist to start with, just so that it's nice and tight on this connection here and just pull it over in such a way that sort of allowing it to um, pleat nicely as it falls so you can kind of guide it a little bit by just sort of loosening it as you go so keeping this tight but then loosening the rest as you go and make it so that it's not covering the butterflies here and then same sort of thing just pull it through the plait or the twist so it's already secure there and then just tuck it away at the back. Now this yellow one, okay, a bit tricky because there's a lot of fabric there. So same sort of thing. I'm just going to play with it, sort of brushing it out until it pleats nice and narrow, but also very nice <laughs> as well. Very important. I'm just going to put it right, just very snugly. So sort of tucking it as I go snugly between my bun and the crease. And then what I'm going to do is a little bit of a tricky one. I'm going to try, try being the operative one, to get this yellow one through without undoing the white one I just threaded. So I'm going to find the little gap and get that through to the front. Hey. Without undoing all the fucking away that we did there. So the next thing is to fix this because it just came completely undone. How rude. Once again, this time we can probably just... Get it in the top there. It doesn't really matter where you tuck away as long as it's secure um, and as long as it's hidden. So as long as you've got those two things, as long as it looks all right and as long as it stays put, I'm happy. Okay, now that that one's done, I just want to do something really cute with this one. Maybe like a little flower or something just because it is springtime and all that sort of good stuff. So I'm just going to fix this up because even though my best efforts with the pins, it still did slide a little bit. So I'm going to bring it out to the front make sure everything's tucked away. Now that I'm happy with it, I'm just going to pull these pins out because they look silly just being randomly at the side of my head like little antennae. Um, and I'm going to just find a way. So the way this larger scarf folded, and this will pretty much always happen with the wider scarf, is it tends to fold in this kind of triangular fashion. So somewhere in here is the other edge, but because of all the knotting and all that sort of thing, it's not a square edge anymore. So it's actually to our benefit here because what we're going to do is kind of pull it up in a way that it's kind of like a flower or reminiscent at least of a flower so i'm starting by tucking that shortest or, to or highest bit up and i'm going to bring the longest bit up and already you have sort of like this bell shaped sort of thing going on and then as you spread it you should be able to find the middle and bring it up Just like that and there you go you've got yourself just a bit more get yourself a bit of a flower going on, on the side there and you can sort of do that design which I think is really really cute that's one option or you can just gently undo that there we go um, the other thing to do is back to my yellow pins you can sort of twist the long bit around the short bit like so and then when you pin it down, you end up with this really cute kind of rose finish. So make sure you don't pin your head. like this. Once again, I just wanted to wish you all a very safe and very happy new year for those who observe and even those who are not observing Rosh Hashanah or the Jewish New Year or Lunar New Year. I would really, really just like to wish everyone around the world a change of pace, 
a new beginning, some new luck, or as we say, new muzzle, a <laughs> um, bit of positivity and definitely health and a little less anxiety about health. You know, there have always been issues with health around the world. You know, everyone's always had something to be anxious about when it comes to the most valuable thing that we have, and that is our well-being. But now more than ever, we are all one global community on the issue. Some places have done better at handling it and managing it, and others have done far worse. Let's just put it that way. And, you know, who's done how is down to individual opinion. So, you know, and that in itself also affects our well-being. So I don't ever wish that everybody gets all along and has the one opinion because that's just boring. That's not a world that's necessarily, you know, happy. That's that's not the world that I imagine to be happy. I love the difference of opinion. I love intelligent and respectful and interesting debate or conversation. I just hope that it brings less anger, less fear, less sadness, and certainly less anxiousness. Because there is one thing that we need to practice more of, and that is togetherness and kindness and mindfulness, not just about the world or universe at large, but also about observing each other's kindness and observing each other's needs and each other's minds. So I wish you all happiness. I wish you all health. And I wish you all a fantastic, fantastic whether it be October or just New Year. Um, so I might also just add that on this weekend, we'll be taking a little bit of pause for the New Year. So I won't be uploading this Sunday um, as we would have just come out of the celebration. But I will be back on Wednesday uh, for another video and hopefully maybe a little bit of a hybrid video talking about the eyes, but also doing a tickle because I can't let you down on the tickle front. And there'll be more celebrations to follow after that with our Atonement Day and with one of the most fun and colourful festivals that we have, which is Sukkot, which is where we welcome the new season, the new harvest, all that sort of thing. And in Australia, it's just so poetic because we're in our springtime and things are warming up and all new fruits are becoming available, whilst overseas it's going into the autumn. So it's all about harvesting the fruits that have already happened. So it's kind of, it's like I said, it's poetic how it's completely a mirror image of our European heritage, but it's just got a different meaning, maybe something a little bit deeper or something a little bit reflective. Uh, and I just love this time of year. I really do. It's, it's so much fun. It's always been about togetherness. And even though this year we can't actually physically be together um, as we are still in lockdown in Melbourne, unfortunately we can definitely admire the sense of community and all the wonderful projects and efforts albeit digital that have been made you know we're still having certain elements observed and kept even with lockdown um, in the community and i'll just link below a wonderful just brilliant website called PHH, so Project High Holidays. For those of you watching who are interested, there are amazing sources on that website. Even for those of you who can go into synagogue or someone's house or whatever, there is just a wealth of knowledge on that site. And um, I've really enjoyed looking through it even this year because we need it. We just need that resource. Um, for the children especially, there's activities and whatnot on there and different uh, recipes and all that sort of stuff. But even for a normal year, it's a wonderful resource because never before have we had to share in this sort of manner. And it's just amazing how so much good can come out of something otherwise so incredibly difficult and negative. So if you get a chance, do pop over to Instagram. Um, I went on a bit of a I've been on a, on a bit of a spiel about spring because I just love the season and I got to really enjoy my front garden the other day and it's just a tiny little front garden but it's full of color and full of life um, so go and check that out on Instagram and if you haven't subscribed with all the schedule changes happening in the next month please do more now than ever subscribe because YouTube will be wonderful at notifying you when I upload and once again lovelies we're everywhere around the world. I am so grateful that you're coming along on this journey with me and I hope you stay well and safe and wonderful and I'll see you next time.